Hey guys, in today's video, we'll be looking at multiplication of matrices. We're going to look at how to multiply one matrix with another matrix. If you enjoy educational content like this, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'll be posting at least one video a week. And if you are learning something from this, please do me a favor and hit that like button so that YouTube recognizes that this is a good video as well. Let's get to the lesson. When we want to multiply one matrix with another, we first need to check their order because not all matrices can be multiplied with other matrices. So let's review what order of matrices are. The order of matrix is the row by column. So let's look at the number of rows in this matrix. First we have the first row, this is row 1 and then we have row 2. So we have two rows in this matrix and we also have this is one column, the first column, and this is the second column. So we have two rows and two columns, which makes this a two by two matrix. Row first, then column. Now let's look at the other matrix. The matrix that we are multiplying on the right has two rows as well. This is the first row, and this is the second row. But this matrix only has one column. So this is actually a 2 because we start with the number of rows. There are 2 rows, so 2 by 1. This is not a multiplication. This simply means 2 by 1. This is not 2 times 1. All right, so we have both matrices, the order of both matrices. Now, if it were possible to multiply these matrices, then the number in between, which means the number of columns in the first matrix and the number of rows in the second matrix must be the same. In this case, they are both 2. Since they are both the same, these matrices can be multiplied. And the product, the matrix product will have an order of, you just take the first number, the number of rows of the first matrix and the number of columns of the second matrix. So our product will have an order of 2 by 1. This is the order of the product. After multiplying, we will get an, a matrix with the order 2 by 1. We will find the actual product of the matrices in a little while. If you want to skip to that, then you can click on the bar below. I've already set the timing. But let's look at another example. Let's look at this, these two matrices. The first matrix has two rows again. So this is row 1 and row 2 and then it has one column, C1. So the order here, remember the order is row by column and so the order is two, two rows by one column, 2 by 1. Now let's look at this second one. So this is actually, this has two rows, row 1, row 2 and two columns as well. We have column 1 and column 2. This would make the order 2 by 2. Now you notice the numbers in between are not the same. We have 1 and 2. And therefore, these matrices cannot be multiplied. We cannot multiply these matrices. So notice that this and the one previously, I have just switched the position. So the position matters here. Just because matrix A can multiply matrix B, it does not mean that matrix B can multiply matrix A. Now let's try one last one. Look at this, the number of rows here. We have three rows, R1, R2, and R3. And we have a single column. So the order here is three by one. And then we have one row here and three columns here. C1, C2, and C3. So the order here is 1 by 3. Now these matrices can indeed be multiplied because the number in between is the same, 1 and 1. And the product of these two matrices, which is another matrix, will have the order of 3 by 3. This is the order of the product of these matrices. Now let's do the actual multiplication. So the first thing to do will be to check the order of matrices. So we have row 1, row 2, and 
then we have column 1 and column 2. So this is a 2 by 2 matrix. And then we have row 1, row 2, and column 1 and column 2, which is also a 2 by 2 matrix. Now that we know their orders, we can check the number in between. The number is 2 and 2, they are the same number. Therefore, we can multiply these matrices. And the order of the product will also be 2 by 2. This is the starting point. So we know that our product will be in this form. This is a 2 by 2 matrix. Now here we are going to label the elements according to their position. So in the product, we have row 1, row 2, and column 1, and column 2. This method is very useful and can be applied to any products. So when we get the product like this, first we start with labeling the elements by their position. So we label them by row and column. So this is the first row and the first column. The position of this element is the first row and the first column. So we call it A11. Let's look at the second element. The position is first row, second column. So this will be A12. And we look at the third element, row 2, column 1. And then the last one is row 2, column 2. So these are the position of the elements. Let's see how this helps us. We use this position in our multiplication. So when we want to find the value of the elements, so this will be equals to, this is where it might get a little bit confusing, but as long as we use the positions, it will be easy to track. So this means that we have to multiply the first row, row 1 of the first matrix. We always start with row and then column. So row 1 multiplied with column 1 because this is 1, 1. So the second number will be for the column. But this column is in the next matrix. So we are looking at this column. So we have row 1, column 1. How do we multiply this? The element is actually, we have to take the first number 1 times 3. So this is 1 times 3. And then we add the second one, which is 0 times 5. 0 times 5. So this whole thing here is A11. This is the first element. Now we do the same for the second element. For the second element, we have 1, 2. So that means first row from the first matrix, so we still have the first row here, multiplied by the second column. That means first row times second column. So now we do the same thing again. 1 times 4, 1 times 4 plus 0 times 6, 0 times 6. So we do the same for the other two elements as well. So this one is 2, 1. So now we have to start with second row from the first matrix and the first column in the second matrix. So this element will be 0 times 3 plus 2 times 5, 2 times 5. And then we go on to the last element, 2, 2. So that will be row 2 times column 2. And we do the same thing again. So 0 times 4 plus 2 times 6, 2 times 6. And this will give us our answer. So when we work this out, we will get 3, 4, 10, 12. So this is the product of our matrices. This is how we multiply matrices. Now let's try a few more. Let's look at this one. So let's check the order again. So this is one row and two columns, which will make this one by two. And then here we have two rows and two columns. 
So here we have 2 by 2. Now again the number in the middle is the same. Now, since they are the same number, our product will be 1 by 2. This is the order of the product, 1 by 2. So let's do a 1 by 2 matrix. 1 by 2 matrix will have 1 row and 2 columns. So the answer will look like this. 1 row and 2 columns. 1 row and 2 columns. Now let's label the elements. This will be 1, 1. First row, first column. And 1, 2. First row, second column. So this will be equals to. Now again, we do the same thing. So we take the first row. Here we only have one row. So the first row multiplied by the first column of the second matrix. So this will give us 3 times 2 plus 5 times 0. So this is the first element, A11. Now let's look for A12. So A12 will be the first row multiplied by the second column. So again, we just follow 3 times 1, 5 times 6. 3 times 1 plus 5 times 6. And this will give us an answer of 633. This is the product of these two matrices. Now what if it gets a bit more complicated? Like this. So we can still use the same method. Now we have row 1, row 2, 2 rows and 3 columns. So the order here is 2 by 3. Then we do the same for the other matrix as well. 1, 2, 3 rows and 1, 2 columns. So this is a 3 by 2 matrix. Once again, the number is the same, so they can be multiplied. And our product will have an order of 2 by 2. So we start with the product. 2 by 2 means 2 rows and 2 columns. So I have A, 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 A. Now let's label the rows and the columns. This means the first element is 1, 1. Second element is 1, 2. Row 1, column 2. Third element is 2, 1. Row 2, column 1. And then finally 2, 2. We do the same thing again. So for element A11, we use first row and first column. So it will be this and this. Now this will give us 0 times 6, 0 times 6 plus negative 3 times negative 1, negative 3 times negative 1 plus 1 times 2, plus 1 times so this is A11. So let's go to the second element, A12. For A12, first row, second column. 0 times 1, 0 times 1, plus negative 3 times 0, negative 3 times 0, plus 1 times negative 3, plus 1 times negative 3. So we do that again for the bottom two as well. So A21, negative 4 times 6, plus 5 times negative 1, plus 0 times 2. A22 will be second row times second column. So it will be negative 4 times 1, 5 times 0, 0 times negative 3. This will give us 5, negative 3, 29, negative 29, and negative 4. So this is how we do multiplication of matrices. So if we know the position of the element, then we can use the position of the element to help guide us which row to multiply with which column. I really hope you've learned something today. If you have, please do support me by hitting that like button and showing YouTube that this is a good video. And also please do subscribe. I will be producing at least one video a week. If you want daily educational content, you can follow me on Instagram as well as on TikTok. I've left the handles here. I will see you in the next video.